So Joel recently has been doing a series on uh, how the mighty have fallen. And he's been looking at the kings of Israel and, uh, and Judah. Now, if you remember, Israel was a country that was uh, united until the uh, reign after Solomon. And then the country became divided in two. Um, the kings did not do what they were supposed to do. Uh, none of the kings of Israel did, and only a few of the kings of Judah actually did what God intended. And at the end of their life in the Bible, there is a statement that says, that sums up their life. And it was either they did right in the sight of God, or they did evil in the sight of God. Most of them did evil in the sight of God. What didn't they do? Well, they didn't see their kingship in the way that God intended them to see it. Unfortunately, many of the kings, rather than seeing their role as to serve God, instead, they simply served themselves. The second way they went wrong was that rather than listening to the counsel of God, instead, they decided that they would listen to their own counsel and trust in their own wisdom. The third thing they did that was wrong was that they did not obey the statutes of God, nor consider it worthwhile to retain the knowledge of God. And because of these things, the Bible says their countries got worse and worse and just descended into greater mess. You've noticed recently that the Queen of England died and she had a reign longer than anyone in the Bible. She reigned for 70 years. And it was an amazing thing because although her reign was not like the reign of the kings of Israel and Judah, nevertheless, she still uh, had a great influence, not only in our country, but also in the world. Now, as a queen, she lives in luxury. She could have had anything she wanted and she could have turned the whole queenship, if you like, into doing what she wanted to do. But instead, she did two things that I think were very much in her favor. The first thing was that at the beginning of her reign, she declared that she would serve the country, that she would be the servant of all. The second thing she did was that she made a testimony every single Christmas day where she said very clearly and very boldly that she chose to follow Jesus Christ and make her, him her savior. Here's my little tribute to the Queen. She saw her role as Queen as to serve the country, a servant to all. And she testified even amongst a family and a, and a country that did not really share her faith. She nevertheless stood out and said every year, I choose to follow God. Jesus Christ is my saviour and I will live my life according to his statutes. If there was a statement written about our life, just one statement, and remember there's no middle ground here. Would God say we did right in the sight of the Lord or that we did evil in the sight of the Lord? And it boils down to this. First of all, we need to have a faith in Jesus Christ. We need to testify that he is our Lord and saviour. But secondly, and most importantly, that testimony, that faith should lead to works of service. Do you see your life as serving yourself or do you see your life as serving other people?